Definitely need to organize underneath the sink. The other thing I want to do is put up the paper towel rack. Oh my god, that's so much better now. Look at this drawer. That is insane. A few things from Old Navy that I thought I'd share with you guys. But for this week's crumble, I have been so intrigued by this product. our little two-tier rack for underneath the kitchen sink and that is what we are finally doing today i know that's been on my agenda for some time now but with how crazy last weekend got i hadn't been able to get to it which by the way update i'm still not supposed to be wearing contacts all day she said that i could be in contacts for a couple of hours or something if i wanted to work out and stuff so i think what i'm going to do is organize underneath the sink today really work on that and then when i'm done i might go for a walk or something then i'll probably put contacts on for that but we actually have family coming to stay with us this weekend so we have a couple house guests so i definitely wanted to get this project out of the way organize the kitchen and all that stuff and then we also need to prep the house for our guests so largely that's what i'm going to be doing today a lot of home projects a lot of cleaning up all of that kind of stuff but i'm excited to start in the kitchen finally get all of this going so let's head in there so i'm trying to think of where i want to start in here definitely need to organize underneath the sink the other thing i want to do is put up the paper towel rack so that we can get the paper towels off of the counter need to organize the fridge it's pretty bad and then also i really need to organize the pantry i haven't done that in a while there's a lot of things in there that have just been sitting in there that i don't think either of us are going to eat so i definitely need to go through all of that let me unpack the two other things from amazon moved you guys to the lights a little bit better but i also got these two little acrylic shelves to organize the smaller things underneath the sink so these are stackable it came with two in the pack i was thinking actually i might use this to just like put our detergent pods and dishwasher pods in i think that that would be Cute. I make it a little bit more aesthetic underneath there. I kind of wish I had got in another set of this though because I feel like I could definitely use another one. But for right now, that should help. And then, like I had said, we have this like little paper towel holder. I think I'll do this first because it's going to be the easiest. But just this little rod and it has the flat top that I just put this little sticker on and stick it underneath the cabinets and it gets the paper towels off of the counter so I think we'll do this first which side am I supposed to peel for? oh my gosh you're supposed to wait 24 hours before you put the paper towel roll on here I feel like that's kind of dramatic you would think I'd be more inclined to listen to directions after essentially ripping off our wall in the bathroom but I don't want to listen <laughs> it doesn't even like tell me which side I'm supposed to like start with so i'm just gonna peel off the one side it's a sticker on right here i'll move you guys so it says to clean the surface first which you know makes sense oh shoot i have one of the sticky lights right here maybe i'll put it over here that'd make more sense make sure we dry it stick it right underneath here then where's the paper towel roll i just want to put it on at least like for a second just to see how it goes oh my god that's so much better now i want to get new under cabinet lighting i know that there's like some rechargeable ones because these ones use batteries that are like longer and stuff and i think that those would work better but i mean for right now we do have a couple lights here oh this one's almost out i need to replace the batteries but whenever we want the kitchen really lit up we have those like lights and stuff they actually work really well whenever there's a blackout because since they're battery operated we can turn on like at least some kind of light here in the kitchen so i really like those like i said i just think it would be nicer to have the longer ones so we get a little bit more light in here but i'm excited about the paper towel holder that's definitely a nice touch time to organize underneath here oh my god there's so much fucking crap in here i mean it's not 
I was about to say it's not terrible, but it really is terrible. Like there's literally zero organization. I personally just kind of chuck everything in here. So it, a lot of it, I will admit is my fault. I don't think we're gonna like bother with the stuff back there, but at least like the stuff that we use pretty regularly, we need to organize and just kind of get into place. So much better in here I was a little bit bummed about this I wanted it to go here but because of the pipes and stuff it wasn't gonna fit but I organized the dish detergent pods the laundry detergent pods and then above here I just have the little gain sheets for the dryer I don't really use those but Trevor does then I also have some gloves because we use those like when we clean and stuff from time to time I'm gonna reverse those because that makes more sense to make the smaller one on top and then in this basket I reorganized it so it's all of the refills of of our Swiffer stuff. Back here is just extra laundry stuff. This is like a bleach detergent and then I just have extra detergent pods back here. Another, I think that this is like fabric softener or something. Again, I don't use it but Trevor does. And then the extra dish pods and then like Drano and stuff. And I put the trash bags together. Back here is just like extra small things that we don't really use that often. We have a couple of bug bombs in there and then like that roll is what we use underneath our rugs in the kitchen so that we can stop them from sliding. And then we have like extras back here. We don't really use this regular dish soap anymore because I really like the Dawn Power Wash but we just had an extra from a while back so just leaving it back there and stuff and then over here we have the little drawer that I put together up top we have our wet wipes and then this like a laundry stain remover and then we have the surface cleaners back here some glass cleaner and then in this I have my extra scrub daddy, a refill of the Dawn Power Wash. This is like a stain remover spray. This is a refill of the hand wash that we have at the sink. Some extra like cleaning pads, sponges, that kind of stuff. The scrub daddy that we use for cleaning. The pink stuff, I love this. I use it to clean the kitchen all the freaking time. And then this is just like a little bottle of this like rinse aid thing that came with our dishwasher that we just use only every once in a while really. Feeling a lot better in here and much more organized. Now time for this thing. It's a little low crowded in here. <laughs> Definitely have some things that we need to get rid of. So I need trash bag. Actually, I'm just gonna pull out this one. We're gonna need to change it soon anyways. So might as well utilize it. All right, oh, I'm gonna dig into hair and hopefully create a lot more space. the camera died out and I don't think you guys caught the end of the organization but there's so so much more space in here we really need to be better about cleaning this out regularly because there was so much expired food that I'm about to throw out here is what the fridge looks like now there's like a ton of room up top I move the eggs down here because they always freeze up here so I just move them down so it's a better temperature but yeah just organized through only kept what still looked good I didn't go through these drawers yet but oh gosh this is stuck of course but yeah I didn't go through these drawers yet I can throw that away and this okay well I guess I'm going through it now but some of this is Trevor stuff too so I oh that looks way way bad but anyway some of this is Trevor stuff too so I don't want to like touch it until he's home I mean I went through this one this one's pretty good look at this drawer that is insane look at <laughs> this thing was filled to the brim and now it's like practically empty again we really got to be better about cleaning this out more often because we could have had so much more space than we initially thought we had couldn't stand it anymore just threw my contacts in I'm gonna go on a walk after I'm done with the pantry but I give you guys a little before it's just like really nuts in here I'm just gonna organize it off camera just because 
this SD card does not have a ton of time on it, so trying to save it a little bit. But yeah, I know that there's for sure a ton of things that need to be thrown out from there because honestly, I think the pantry is like my worst offender when it comes to not throwing things out because I always think I'm going to snack on them later and then I completely forget. Okay, so here's everything that I'm throwing out. There's a bag somewhere underneath here, a trash bag, but it's gotten buried in all of this stuff, which I will bag up and take out and throw away. But here is the pantry looking much better. We're gonna ignore that bottom shelf that's always just been like a stock shelf of things that we don't use often or just refills of stuff. So I'm just gonna leave it. But like the actual snacks and stuff are now organized. We can see everything. There's a little bit of rhyme or reason to things, not entirely, but still like this is mainly up here, just like baking and then like rices, quinoa, stuff like that. And then we've got like snacks and some cereals over here and then like more chips and trail mixes and stuff down here as well as popcorn. We are going in deep guys, getting all the corners. Oh my gosh, I'm not gonna lie. This is actually not too bad, I'm shocked. But this is something that we forget to do way too often. Like we gotta be more diligent about this because the little cobwebs just freaking collect in these corners and it's like, we never remember to like clean them out until someone's like coming over and we're like, oh shit, there's like, cobwebs and stuff. I was like bummed I didn't have time to do Pilates today, but I'm not gonna lie. With all this organizing and stuff right now, I am sweating. I don't think I can get to that corner on my own. I'm like too short. Maybe. Hold on. Oof. I did it. Oh, there wasn't really much there. Okay. Okay, so my allergies are going haywire now from doing this. Ugh. I've been trying to wait for my phone to charge, but I just gotta go on my walk. I think it's like at 50%, which should be fine for like an hour. I just like, I never want to go out on a walk and my phone dies just in case, God forbid, you know, something happens. I want to be able to like have my phone on me in case of emergency, but I think it's like at a pretty good spot. I just need to like try not to be on TikTok because <laughs> that's the thing that drains my battery the most. Just so anyways, I'm getting ready to go on a walk. Come on, just some biker shorts and then this workout top per usual i'm gonna throw on my puffer vest just because it's like so perfect for walks because it like keeps me warm without overheating i'm gonna zip it for right now probably open it on my walk Ugh, it's at 48 percent okay like i wanted to do a like legit at least one hour walk because i didn't get to do pilates today but i also like i need to time it because it's like 4 20 right now and it's gonna get dark, so. I mean, I think I can do an hour walk. I shouldn't be like pitch black by 520, but I do wanna get back sooner rather than later once the sun starts like really setting, you know? Hello, it's the next day. I look like a hot mess right now, oh my God. Oh man, okay. Working all day, I've had freaking meetings all day and now I'm like finally digging back into prepping the house which is like I have to do like a lot of laundry because they're staying in our bedroom so I need to kind of like clear out like my pile of clothes that I keep that are clean but I'm too lazy to hang I don't know why I like never want to hang my clothes or like fold them if they're like I just use them for a little bit and I just like need to put them back because they don't need to be washed. Those I just like leave on a chair and then they eventually fall off and fall into a pile next to my bed. So I need to clean that up. I also need to clean up my vanity and then like do some laundry to clear out some room for me to be able to put stuff away. But I did get in a few things from Old Navy that I thought I'd share with you guys. These are for my upcoming work trip, which we are still figuring out exactly when I'm going this month. It's looking like it's gonna be more towards mid-month. First item I got is more for like after work or like when I'm traveling by plane. You guys know I really, really love my flared leggings that I got from Old Navy. I'm not gonna try these on because you guys have seen the black pair, but I'm like, I'm realizing this pretty much looks black on camera, but it's just like a very, very dark gray. So I got a second pair again in medium petite. So I already know it's gonna fit flawlessly, but I love the flared leggings from here so, so much. They're so comfortable, they're so flattering. And I mean, it's always a bonus when I don't have to hem them. Super excited to have a second pair of this. And then I'm hoping that I don't have to hem these. I did get the petite pair, so fingers crossed, but I got a new pair of trousers just because the trousers that I do have are the Abercrombie wide leg trousers. And 
I bought them a size up so they're just they're way too oversized to wear for like a client meeting or something and I'll probably go see the clients so I got ooh these are a little bit long shit well hopefully once I put them on and have some heels it looks like they're gonna like graze the ground but I just I don't know if I'm gonna have time to hem anything that's why I specifically got old navy and I got petite but these seem like they run a little bit long this is definitely more of a slimmer fit it does have a little bit of a flare on the bottom I'll put clips of me trying these on I'm about to film a try on for TikTok. So yeah, we'll just, we'll have to see on these. Hopefully they fit because I don't know if I'm gonna have time to go try to find something else. See, this is what happens when you purge your closet and you end up throwing out things for the office. That's why I don't purge. <laughs> and lastly, this top I was thinking would go with those trousers. I don't have to wear like a suit or anything to meet up with the clients. Honestly, just like business casual, but slightly a little bit more elevated. It's gonna be between this or the Amazon top that I got on what I'm gonna wear. But this is just like a warm mock neck sweater. If I don't end up wearing this with the clients, I can definitely wear it to the office some days. And also too, I think like this with a pair of jeans or cargo pants would be a really great casual outfit. So tons of uses for this. Making sure that I'm only purchasing things that I I can think of multiple ways to style them just because I'm trying to be a little bit more mindful of you know things that I'm getting and stuff so I'm gonna clean myself up a little bit so I can film the try on for this and then afterwards before I start on the bedroom I need to run over to Trader Joe's and stuff just to get like some snacks and like restock on sparkling waters and stuff for the house so we'll probably do that also too I did see crumbles flavors this week look really good so might pick up a box and so we can have a box here ready in case they'd like to try some crumble and stuff so I'm gonna work on all that and then we'll probably regroup when I leave to go to Trader Joe's. Just got here to Trader Joe's. I put together a little list. There's like a few new things. Like I know I've been collecting new things from Trader Joe's over like the last few weeks because like I've been to Trader Joe's weekly. I don't know what's going on with me. Honestly, a lot of like the lunches and dinners that I've been making have been kind of centered around Trader Joe's products. So I think that's why I've just been frequenting it more. But there's like some new things that I've been like forgetting to grab the last couple times I came here. So definitely gonna grab that stuff. I'll show you guys what's new that I'm getting i know for sure i want to get two of the squiggly noodles because trevor really loves them and i won't let him have any of mine so i need to get us one each right now but i'm gonna get my grocery bags do i have reusable ones in here yes i do okay good i did reload them into my car i grab those and then we will go grocery shopping We are back. I also got to say hi to one of my favorite neighbor dogs here. I always love seeing her, obviously, right now. It's always really nice to see her. <laughs> she gets so excited when she sees both Trevor and I, and she actually, like, recognized my car. Her mom was trying to, like, load her into their car to go to the park, so you'd think she, like, would want to jump into the car but she saw me pulling in she's like a huge bulldog she's just solid and really dense so she literally saw me and like sat down and her mom's just trying to like drag her into the car and she's just insisting on sitting there pouting and she's like no i know who that is I want to say hi but her mom did get her into the car and I said hi to her from inside the car I was petting her and stuff she's so sweet she's like the sweetest girl ever but anyways okay I got some stuff from Trader Joe's just like some staples because I've really run out of stuff and then also just so that I can have like some basic snacks in here for Trevor's sister and her husband I got this mainly for me I don't know if they're gonna like it but I mean they're obviously welcome to it but Trader Joe's restocked to the olive fugas I'm so excited for this I love this stuff I can never figure out if it's fugas or fugasi I don't know. So much room in our fridge now. Oh my God. Oh shoot. I gotta get the ice cream in. I got a new ice cream from them. Oh, this thing is really, really soft. But they got this new chocolate raspberry swirl. And I think it's like chocolate ice cream and raspberry sorbet and chocolate and raspberry. Oh yeah. There it is. It's my favorite flavor combo. I know I've said that a million times, but it really is. Also, that needs to go in the freezer. I got some frozen raspberries. Trevor asked me for spicy Thai shrimp fried rice for him. I was really bummed. I wanted to get us more of the squeaky cut noodles. I think I was even telling you guys I was going to get that, but I couldn't find them at all. The Trader Joe's that I went to was sold out of like so much stuff. Like I wanted to get more hash browns and stuff. No hash browns there out right now. Got a refill. Oh no. What the hell? Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. The top to my miso ginger broth just fell off, but... It's not open, luckily. But I got a refill of 
the non-dairy oat beverage with pea protein. I really, really like this as just like a little extra protein bump in the coffee. Everything in here got crushed because look at this. Look at this, this one's done. This bag is done. It's served its purpose and it's over it. I also got some raw Argentinian red shrimp and then just a refill of the frozen garlic. And then just for a really quick dinner for maybe tonight, I'm gonna have this, the porcini mushroom and truffle ravioli. I just do this with a like, little drizzle of olive oil on top and some parmesan. I got two types of chips. I got the corn chip dippers, and then I also got the white truffle potato chips, just like I said, for a couple snacks to just have on hand to offer. Also got a refill of the double chocolate wafers, and then, I've been wanting to try the truffle Marcana almonds. I tried the rosemary one last time and I loved it. I still have a little bit left, so this time I went for the truffle ones. I also got some eggs that I hope didn't get crushed. No, they're good. Eggs are so much cheaper at Trader Joe's, or at least these were. They were just like two bucks for the six, so. Although, is that a lot? No, because it was like, it was four dollars at Stater Brothers. So yeah, it's cheaper at Trader Joe's or at least the Trader Joe's I went to. And then lastly, this is the new thing that I was so excited for. There were a couple new things I wanted to try, but again, this Trader Joe's was Slim Pickens. But the stir-fried garlicky cabbage. I love cabbage so much. Cabbage is like legitimately one of my favorite things. And this looks like it would be a really, really good side. I might do it with that shrimp and with some brown rice with some teriyaki sauce. I think that would be a delicious dinner. I'm gonna finish cleaning up the kitchen tomorrow the only thing i'm going to do in here is sweep but like the kitchen's relatively easy to do because i kind of deep cleaned it just like i think a week ago or so so i just have to like tidy it then just like quickly wipe down the surfaces because like i said i already did a nice deep clean of it not that long ago but for this week's crumble we got a good lineup this time so of course chocolate chip for trevor and then they did a cookies and cream Definitely gonna be digging into that. This one is a blueberry muffin, and then we have a key lime pie. <sighs> I kinda wanna try these right now, but I also haven't like really had anything substantial to eat since breakfast. So I'll probably just try these later tonight, actually. I also stopped in at Ulta, as you guys saw, and I got a few things. I didn't get everything I wanted, so I'm gonna put in an order at a different Ulta, but I got a refill of my rose hip seed oil. This is the oil that I use to gua sha. And then I have been so intrigued by this product. MAC came out with a lash dry shampoo mascara. It's supposed to like refresh your mascara so if you're like transitioning your makeup from day to night this is supposed to like refresh it and i've been seeing people do reviews and it looks really good it looks like it's actually effective again so intrigued by this concept so i had to try it i also got a new leave-in conditioner i got the one from the way i've been using the redken one and i'm not like wowed by it and i was talking to my hairdresser about it and she said that she's heard really good things about the way leave-in conditioner so we'll give her a try and then a refill of my ride or die the igk first class charcoal dry shampoo honestly you guys this is the best dry shampoo ever you cannot convince me otherwise but i was gonna get more things than this but the ulta just like the Trader Joe's i went to was sold out of so many things that i had wanted to get which was odd because i did actually check online before i went in to make sure they had everything but the girl that i was talking to said apparently they just got a shipment in of a bunch of stuff so she thinks that it's showing in stock because they have it but they just haven't put it out yet which kind of blows but you know whatever I'll just have to go back or go to a different one but I think I'm just gonna go ahead and end this vlog here I'm just basically gonna be doing laundry the rest of the day and tidying up my bedroom and my vanity oh my god my vanity well actually the vanity shouldn't be too bad because most of the stuff I'm putting in one of like my travel makeup bags so I can do my makeup down here since we're essentially gonna give them our bedroom so truthfully it shouldn't be too bad it's just the clothes so I'm just gonna be spending the rest of the day upstairs hanging stuff folding stuff washing stuff so you guys won't be missing much but thank you guys for watching i'll see you guys well it'll be tomorrow for me i'm just like vlogging four days straight but you guys will see that next vlog in a couple days